Sadly, suicides among children and teenagers are on the rise throughout the Treasure Valley. Families and friends are grieving their loved ones. And that includes 14-year-old Cade Parrish, who died by suicide last week. Our Abby Davis joins us now. And Abby, you talked to Cade's dad tonight, as well as a local organization encouraging parents to talk about mental health with their kids. Yes, because this is a public health issue, we wanted to have a conversation about what's going on and how to help people in crisis. On Monday, hundreds of people gathered to remember 14-year-old Cade Parrish, an eighth grader who died by suicide last week. I know that there's been uh, a pretty awful rash of, of suicide, especially young, around here. And I had seen it, I read about it, and talked to Cade about it, and it still happened. Parrish was a Boise School District student. Boise Schools is one local district seeing what they call an alarming number of suicides recently. It's really complex and there's um, a lot of reasons behind suicide. Local suicide prevention organization, the Speedy Foundation, is well aware of the growing problem. Each of these um, suicide deaths are individuals who have a family and friends um, and a life of their own and one death is too many. Prevention specialist Grace Shimatsu says they're doing everything they can to educate the community. Today um, we met with the mayor of Boise um, and other community partners who are involved in the conversation um, surrounding uh, suicide postvention. So we met with these community partners, kind of bring everyone to the table and discuss next steps moving forward following recent tragedies in our community. Shimatsu encourages families to check in on one another, especially children and teenagers. We're stressing to have open communication um, with your children, your friends, your support groups, um, and just to do what you can to support those in need right now. In effort, Parrish's dad, Jacob Stockton, fully supports. I did a lot of talking. I don't mind talking. I can be very long-winded. I've seen his eye roll so many times. When we get in the car, I'm like, all right, Cade, so uh, here we go. And I wish I would have listened more. So talk, but also listen. Just heartbreaking. If you need help or know somebody that needs help, call 988. That's the number for the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Shimatsu also recommends going on to the Speedy Foundation website and filling out their personal safety plan, which helps identify or which helps people identify personal triggers, who they should talk to and safe places that they can go. We also have links to more resources on our website, ktvb.com. And this is why we cover these stories, Abby, and it's important that we bring this to light so that you can connect people with resources. And, and his dad, I've just got to say how strong he is. The last thing he said, obviously, very poignant, uh, very deep, very meaningful, mm -hmm. because I think sometimes the best thing you can do is ask that question directly. Yes, directly. And Don't listen. beat around the bush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Abby, thank you.